Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm going to be playing a game called The Convenience Store. Now this is a J-horror game. I've played one before and it was really good. I don't think this is made by the same person, but this one looks really interesting. Apparently there's two endings. There's a good and a bad ending and the game takes about 40 minutes to complete. So this is going to be a bit longer of a video than I usually post. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get both endings in one video, but I sure as hell will try. Let's give this a shot. Dot, dot, dot. It's time. Need to get ready for work. Okay. Seems straightforward enough. Oh, look, a mouse. Slept well. Yeah, one thing about this game... Oh. Gotta bring a flashlight. One thing about this game that really kind of piqued my interest was... Oh, is this it? Yeah, let's pick that up. Um, the stylistic design of it all. It seems very well made. It looks very nice. Somewhat realistic graphics with those. I need to eat something, change and grab a flashlight before I leave. Okay. Um, seems to have like kind of a VHS style. Whoa. What happened there? What? Why does that turn around? That's weird. Whatever. All right. I guess I need to eat something. How do I do that? Change clothes? Yes. Okay. Oh. That's it, I guess. Oh, no, never mind. I needed to change. Duh. Um, what is this all about? It's dark outside. Um, I can make some ramen, but doesn't seem to want to let me. I can't seem to do anything, really. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, wait, no. There we go. Nice. Pop that in the microwave. Let's warm that up. Close the fridge. Okay. Well, making some moves here. Gonna have a nice little meal before I go. All right, my meal's done. Eat bento. Yes. Nom, nom, nom. I was pretty hungry, I guess, because it would literally would not let me leave the house without eating. All right, it's time to leave. Time to go to work. Now, I'm assuming I work at the convenience store. I don't... Oh, I don't know if that's a proper assumption. Can I not close the door? All right, I'm going to walk away and leave the door to my house wide open. So literally anybody who wants to can just charge in there and steal all my belongings. Seems to be a pretty in-depth location. Huh, I can actually like, oh, I can explore. Interesting, yeah, look at this. My God, it's a big area. I know it's not really a huge deal. I just wasn't expecting, wasn't expecting this open of a map. All right, well, I can dilly dally all I want, but I need to make it to work before I'm late. So let's just, Keep roaming around, see if I can find out where I work. Yeah, this map is huge, man. This is a pretty big location. This is very well made, too. I don't know why I'm going to work so late. Looks like everyone else is asleep. Nobody's gonna even come into the place I work at. Well, whatever. Here it is. The only convenience store in the tri-state area. Oh, is that somebody sitting outside? Is that a homeless man? Homeless man? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Look at his face. I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all by the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. hey -ah! All right, man. Well, you have a good night, okay? I guess I'll just leave you alone, leave you out here to your... lounging. You look very comfortable over there. Let's enter the convenience store. All right, well... Here I am at work. Go ahead and use the bathroom. And there we go. I used it. Very nice. What does this say? Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. Oddly convincing. Well, I do know in Japan, uh, bathrooms are notoriously clean, from what I've heard. Rabi carrot juice. I've been drinking only that recently. Highly recommended. Well, I'll note that. In my notes. Okay, so what am I doing here? 
Oh, the back alley. Huh. What is this? What? Why is it showing me a marker over here? I'm a bit confused about that. Maybe that's something that eventually will lead to something else, but at this time it doesn't. All right, well, hopefully what that guy said to me outside wasn't anything uh, to truly worry about. Maybe he was just drunk and crazy. Well, whatever. Time to, time to get to work. What are these? This shelf looks fine. This shelf looks fine. This shelf looks fine. Yep, I'm doing good. Looks fine. Looks like some are expired. Does that mean I gotta take them off? Take items off the shelf, yeah. All right, what about this? No? Oh, okay. I'm good. All right, well, time to take out the trash. This must be what this thing was for here. Boom. Trash expired food, yes. Oh, okay, I'm blacking out again near the trash cans. All right, time to go back in and ignore the police sign. It's like some are expired. Yes, take that off. Maybe I should just leave this open. Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should be a good worker and make sure to always lock up after I'm done doing my little bit of the job that I need to do. All right, we're going back in. Make sure I close the door so that drunk guy doesn't come in. Close this one too. So am I gonna have to restock then? Is that what it's telling me? Is that what you're saying to me, bud? Shelf looks fine. Sankyus, sankyus, sankyu. Oh, I get it. Hey, I'll give it a try. All right, guess I just gotta check all the shelves and make sure everything is okay. Looks like everything's fine here. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Hey, bud. Oh, God, you made it. Hmm? Oh, no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. Well, that's kind of ominous. There was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha ha. Ha. Sorry. Well, thanks for freaking me out, man. Enter counter, sure, let's go behind the counter. What do I need to do back here? All right, man, will you man the counter? Oh, sorry, whoops, <laughs> my bad. Let's check back here and see what else I need to do. Oh, did I start working without even punching in? My God, I was working off the clock. Think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Your manager. Well, I kind of already got a head start on that. Let's check the CCTV. Somebody entered. Oh. Is he going home? What's the deal with this guy? This guy looks a bit sketchy. Kind of walking a little slow for my liking. Hey, man. I think you should walk a little bit faster. Sir? Do you need some help? Oh, he's just going to get food. All right, sir. Hurry up and make your selections. I don't really trust you here. Being a little bit sketchy. You know, let me go check that CCTV again. Make sure he's not doing any, pulling any funny business over there. Stealing stuff. Oh. I think he's coming up to the counter. Hey, buddy. Welcome, sir. Hello. Dost thou need help? Could you... Could you stop just staring at me? Maybe... Step up to the counter? Not really sure what I do here. I am totally lost, dude. I don't know what to do. I don't have any idea what to do. Oh, I have to scan. I'm an idiot, dude. I didn't notice that. Thank you. Come again. My God. I'm an idiot. All right. Well, that guy was just standing there completely, completely dead pan face expression. Didn't even care that he was waiting there for so long for no reason at all. All right, sir. You have a good day. Now, what about you? How do I get you food? 
I don't want eternal punishment. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna stand around. I can't seem to grab any food for that poor guy. What's going on with that door? The hell? Stop it. All right, well, I'm here. I'm at work. I don't understand this game. What is that noise? I hear a noise. Sounded like a car. Is there somebody here? Hello? Oh! Hey, bud, here. Why don't you come on inside? We'll conduct business in here. Are you just delivering? Hey, man. It's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to the store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. All right, well. Thank you. Not sure what this is about. Take it home? Sure. Oh. A VHS? Did I do that? I'm gonna watch some TV. Watch closely? Okay. <laughs> that was at the convenience store. Does that mean I was being watched? Oh, thought I had some food in there. I guess not. Okay. Um. Uh. Oh, what is this? Pick up the flashlight? Okay. I'm... This game is confusing the hell out of me, man. Am I supposed to leave? Alright, stepping outside. Probably not... Good idea, first night. What? Um. Okay, am I supposed to go back? Oh. What happened to the stairs? I think I'm just gonna make my way back to the store. Very hard to see. It's super dark. All right. I'm walking back to work. Something tells me I'm not even supposed to be here. Hey, hey. So I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor. It seems like the rings were loose. Wiring, sorry. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real, after all. I guess they're not. I guess you're right. I guess I'll take your word for it. Time to punch in again. Boom. Yeah. Okay, what does this say? Saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. First person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. Alright, man. Oh, you're going home? Didn't even say goodbye. Whatever. What is this? Oh, this must be the rat repellent. Oh, shoot. How did that happen? There goes one. Guess they really don't want me to see that rat dying. Or being repelled, not dying. Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, I'm hearing the doors again. Alright, I just need... Aha! The culprit! Goodbye. What's that? All right, well, I've repelled the rats. Not sure how this happened on its own. I'm oblivious to everything that's going on there, but let's go ahead and close that and see who's in our store. Oh! Hey, lady. <laughs> you all right? Oh, okay, you're just gonna 
Faye has through me. You must be a ghost. You going to the restroom, lady? Well, have a good time in there. Oh, that was me. My bad. All right, let's go ahead and check the CCTV. Make sure she's not doing any drugs in that bathroom. There she goes. Walking extremely slowly. Oh, she closed the door. All right. Doesn't seem like any funny business going on in here, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. Oh, check it out. Uh-oh. That guy doesn't look friendly. Time to get behind the counter. Oh, sir, how do you do? Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up. All right. Uh, where's the cig cigarettes? Here you go. There's one. Five cans of beer. Where's the beer at? Don't worry, buddy. <sighs> go get it yourself. Hey, that's not very nice of me. Oh, do I have to keep going back to him? Oh, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't grab a six pack or anything, could I? Okay, this should be fine. What I can do is I can just grab him from the floor. That way he gets dirty cans of beer for being a jerk and rushing me along and not getting anything for himself. And I get an easier way to pick up the beer for him. All right, two more. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense that I have to walk back and forth to get him his beer. Here you are, your very final can of beer. Boom. Now I gotta enter the counter and cash this guy out. Now that I know how to do that, boom. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. What about that lady? Oh, there you are. Hey lady, do you need some assistance? See the Oh, oh you laid a fat one in there, didn't you? Okay. Are you okay, lady? What's going on, huh? You're motionless. Completely motionless. Oh lady. Can I help you with anything? Huh. Huh? Where's Kenkun? You know where Kenkun is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? Oh. She seems a bit pissed. Lady, I think, I think you're sorely mistaken. I think you're in the wrong place. All right. You have a nice day, ma'am. God, she walks so slow. Whoa. What the hell? What just happened? I saw somebody... Oh. Another truck? That was odd. I saw somebody, like, run this way. Hey. Good to see you again. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Oh. Really? Is it behind the counter? Oh. Yeah. Didn't notice this before. Here you go, man. Have a nice day. So now what? Nothing. Okay. I'm getting extremely confused now. What is this? Umbrella. Who is it? There's somebody at the door. What are the answers? Oh, a package. Yeah, let's open this. Is it another VHS? Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's watch it closely.
Where is that? All right, well, I have my umbrella. I have my flashlight. I guess it's time to go to work again. All right, here we go. We're off to work again. I, I just, I don't understand this game. I don't understand what's happening. I don't understand anything about this. Seems like I'm just playing a part-time job simulator. Oh, my coworker isn't in today. Maybe he went home early? Oh, hey, boo. I got you good, huh? Okay, okay, fine, I'll stop. Promise I won't do it again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Punching in. What's on the agenda? Some products are missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning, your manager. Well, all right, man. Thanks for scaring the crap out of me. So what, what happens then if I try to restock the shelves? Somebody comes in late at night and buys up the stuff and I don't have time to restock it. I believe these gotta go somewhere over here. Here we go. Let's restock. Very nice. And I hear a car of some sort. That's all right, that makes sense. We live in a busy town. So there's three things I need to restock. I can't leave. Okay. That was very weird. Oh, hey. You look interesting. What's up, man? I can't even tell what's going on with you, but let's go ahead and restock that. And let's go talk to the man. Hey. You a doctor? I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. He had to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. Alright, while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and finish stocking up here. Seems to be just a series of very mundane tasks. Right, I think these are magazines or something. Here we go. Restocking. All right, well, let me go check on this guy, make sure he's not doing anything CD in the back alley there. Yeah, everything seems to be in order there. Nothing strange going on. Oh. That back area seems to be open. You know what? Oh, there he goes. All right, well, maybe I can meet him. I'll meet him, see what he has to say. Hey, pal. Anything? No, you got nothing to say? Okay. Well, I'm gonna head back here and see what's up with this. What is that? A wrench? Oh, a key. Was unlocked, however, my arm goes numb when I try to open it. Feels as though something is grabbing me. Can't open it. That's weird. Everything that's happening right now is very weird. Alright, I'm going back in. I have no idea what's going on in this place. Oh, hello, lady. Oh, you're all set? You're all set to make your purchases, lady? Yay, you're welcome. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Thank you. That's very nice of you. All right. I wonder if that'll allow me to... Open that door. Maybe. 
maybe? I still have no idea what's happening in this game. This is kind of boring a little bit. I've been playing this for an hour and I feel like I've gotten nothing accomplished. All right, well, let's maybe try and uh, open this up now, now that I have the protection charm. Okay, I can't. All right, well. Really not understanding this game. The hell was that? Um. Could you not? And why is it raining in here? Oh. Is there somebody in here? Hey, you're not supposed to be back here. Okay. That gave me some chills. I got some chills from that. Talismans? Can I open that door now? Exercise the door? Um, manager? Um, four? Hello? Can somebody let me out? Can you let me out of here? Throw this pounding on the door. Please let me out. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? I hope so. Do I gotta go back there? I guess not. Oh. Huh. Alright. Starting to pick up the pace a little bit. wondering why this is all happening all right well time to go we've made it back don't know what to expect but things are happening here where's that damn co-worker of mine he's probably back there all right well let's go punch in hopefully he doesn't scare me again am i not scheduled what the heck Um, these like railroad spikes or something? What's up with all the TVs? I didn't know we sold rusty nails and TVs here. What the hell is my manager doing? Bathroom still seems very clean. What about over here? 
Still got ramen and beer back here. All right, I can't go in there. All right, I think I gotta get, go check the CCTV. Oh. That's the person I saw before. Hey, you gotta watch out with those bare feet on the rusty nails. Is that an arm? Oh no. It's part of the CCTV. Hey, bud. Be careful, you don't wanna get tetanus. All right, I'm pretty confused. Pretty very confused. Do I go out and approach the? Is that just the ghost? Hey, kid. Where'd you go? I gotta turn all of these on. Maybe I have to go to the ones specifically that he's looking at. Okay. One over there. One down there. One down there. And that one up there. All right. Well, I'm going to assume that that's what I need to do. All right. I think I definitely got this one right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I turned this one on and I noticed it's not making any noise, so maybe that's the answer. Okay, that's definitely not the right one. This one. This one right here. So this one... I'm gonna just double check. I think this one. Yeah, that one there. This one in the middle here. And there was one here, maybe this one. Nope, okay, I got it wrong, right? Did I get it wrong? Oh. It won't let me, won't let me do that anymore. Maybe I got it right? That was creepy. Oh. Kid, I told you to put on shoes. Now you got tetanus on your feet. Don't like the way that sounds. Ooh. Okay. Is there somebody there? Oh. Fourth night. Okay. Here we go. What is this? No, I don't want to send that to someone else. Let's try watching it. Oh, this is how you get the good and the bad ending. Oh, okay. Huh. Well, there I am. Whoever this is has been watching me the whole time. Very interesting. It's rumbly. Oh. Hello?
Okay. Here we go. There we go. Oh my god. Well, that game took an extremely long amount of time to beat. You know something, I do want to get the other ending. But if that means I have to replay this entire game, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see, because I've been playing this for an hour and 25 minutes. Did not think it was gonna take this long. Thought it was gonna take a much shorter amount of time, but my stupidity has prevented me from progressing in this game, much like in every other game that I play on this channel. <laughs> yeah, I think I am gonna have to play it from the very beginning again. Oh, God. But I really want to find that other ending. You know, I really wish they could have just fast-tracked me to the end of the game. That would have been nice. That way I wouldn't have had to replay this entire thing all over again just to get the other ending that's probably going to be a bit underwhelming. But at least I know what to do now, so I can just kind of plow through this whole game. I would say my only complaint about this game is that it's... There seems to be a lot of periods of time where nothing really happens. And there's not much indication as to what needs to be done in the game, so... A lot of the time playing this, you're kind of just sitting around thinking that you have to wait for things to happen to you. When that is not the case, you have to make things happen and there's like... No sense of direction on what to do, when to do it how to do things. My only other complaint is that in order to get the second ending, you literally have to play through the entire thing again. And it's very lengthy. It's a very lengthy game. So it can be a little bit daunting and may makes you not really want to do it. Especially because now I've been playing for an hour and a half. And I just want to get this done. And the other thing is it blacks out the screen when you do like simple actions, like throwing out the trash. So that just completely adds to the amount of time that it takes to play this game. And it seems like everything in this game is supposed to be slow. I don't know why everything has to be so slow. I understand that you maybe want people to play this game for a while so they could soak in everything. And it does work. It does, you know, that does happen. But it's just the tiniest bit. It just drags on the tiniest bit. That's my only complaint. Otherwise, this game is actually really, really good. I can almost guarantee I'm going to play through this whole thing. I'm going to get the ending. And it's going to be very underwhelming. All right, looks like the guy's here with my uh, package. and uh, The package I don't even really want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to fast forward through this for you guys. So you don't have to watch me play through this entire game again for another 40 minutes. Seems like a lot to do just to get to another ending, but whatever. All right, so it is now two hours and five minutes into me playing this game. I've uh, finally, oh yeah, I finally got back to this point. And I'm going to do the last thing I need to do, which is to doodly do. There's one more tape. Yeah, here we go. It's the final tape. I bring it home. So, let's hope that these two hours that I've spent playing this game were not in vain. The last thing I do, so what I did before was I put it in here. I'm gonna go ahead and send this off to someone else. Are you sure? Yes. Let's see what happens. This will be the second ending. I think this is the good ending. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. 
so I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said, there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments. In 2009, there was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I, de I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shopping to a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured into, onto her, along with her child in her stomach. I wanted to, th to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work, and he had complained to several colleagues. And on the day of the incident, it said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful, with tears in my eyes. I closed the internet gently, and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift, what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hosso, franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then with a shivering voice, he said, the manager is dead. I couldn't breathe. So it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found, he said that there was old storage behind a convenience store and he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could, because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me, and I wouldn't be able to help but to try to pass as quickly as possible so as not to look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management, but further details were not publicized. At that point, I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There, I saw the woman. Well, that took a very long time, a lot of patience, and I can't believe I actually got both endings. To those of you who want to play this and get both endings, just know that you have to play the 40 minute game all over again. And yes, it does take 40 minutes again, even though the first time around, it took me an hour and a half to beat because I didn't know what to do and I didn't know where to go with a bunch of, you know, things. I don't know what I'm saying. But the second time you play through, even knowing where you have to go and what you have to do, it still takes 40 minutes because everything in this game is extremely slow. I will say that story-wise, gameplay-wise, everything in this game was really good, looked really good, played really good, the map was really big, everything felt connected very well. My only complaint was how slow it all went. And I think you would be doing people a big service if you would allow them to start from a checkpoint in order to get the second ending, because I will say it felt pretty torturous going through everything else again, especially with that old lady walking to the bathroom, taking a million years to do so, and a million years to come back out. Don't get me wrong though, I'm not gonna sit here and say that this was a bad game. It was not by any stretch of the imagination. It just takes very long to complete. And I know I'm gonna have a grand old time spending the next three hours editing this video, but luckily there's gonna be a lot that gets cut out because I'm gonna skip through a lot of the stuff that I messed up on. I'm gonna skip through that whole second playthrough of the game just so I could get to the second ending. You guys won't have to watch an hour long video. I'm gonna really try to streamline it. But yeah, if any of you wanna try the game out for yourselves, I'll leave the link down below in the description for you. But for now, I am all out of time for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you hit that like button down below if you did, and please feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about the video down below as well. And if you happen to enjoy and you wanna catch a new video every single day, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button for me. Thanks again for watching everyone and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy.